Welcome to the Immune Epitope Database and Analysis Resource. Established in 2003, the IEDB is a freely available resource funded by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease. It catalogues experimental data on antibody and T-cell epitopes in the context of infectious disease, allergy, autoimmunity and transplantation. The IEDB also hosts tools to assist in the prediction and analysis of epitopes. Here you can see the IEDB homepage, which is where you'll find everything you need. The IEDB homepage is split into three segments. The central panel is what you'd most likely be interested in, the IEDB main search interface. You can execute 98% of possible queries through the homepage alone, making it a very powerful tool for research. You can select your desired parameters by using these toggles, checkboxes, free text fields and finders across six main areas, epitope, assay, antigen, MHC restriction, host and disease. You can search for a specific linear peptide epitope and its homologues or a discontinuous or non-peptidic epitope. Alternatively, you can search for all epitopes from a specified antigen or organism. The host used for the experiments can be specified as well as the presence of disease, for example, humans with Zika fever. The assay type can also be specified. B or T cell assays, or assays that describe binding to specific MHC alleles. Once you have made the preliminary selections, hit the green search button and you will be taken to a new results page, where you can further refine your query and export your results. The panel on the right contains links to the epitope analysis resource. Here we provide tools developed by the IEDB as well as host tools developed by others with the T-cell and B-cell prediction tools being the most widely used applications. Our T-cell tools encompass MHC class 1 and 2 binding predictions, as well as processing predictions and immunogenicity. The B-cell tools help predict linear and discontinuous epitopes, whilst the analysis tools provide detailed epitope sequence analyses through the population coverage, conservation and clustering tools. As with the database, we strive to offer you comprehensive tools for your research and more information can be accessed via these links or via the analysis resource drop-down. Finally, in the left panel, you'll find some background on the IEDB. By clicking on the Learn More link, you can read more about the program and our team, including how data is curated and how to cite the IEDB. Upcoming events will keep you updated on conferences, booths or virtual events that the IEDB team will be taking part in or hosting. Our annual IEDB user workshop information can be accessed through this section. The summary of metrics highlight the expansive amount of data included in the IEDB, with new epitopes, assays and references added bi-weekly. At the bottom, there are links where you can provide feedback, request support and access our solution centre, which is filled with useful resources. These can also be accessed via the help drop-down at the top of the screen. We hope you enjoy exploring the IEDB. Our goal is to ensure that this resource supports the research community, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to help at iedb.org. Thank you for supporting the IEDB.